Holy crap. <laughs> because you can't edit. <laughs> I okay. rely on editing. Okay, go. <laughs> All right. Hi folks, I'm Tony. And I'm Jean. With Beauty and the Stamper. With Beauty and the Stamper. <laughs> <laughs> so this is take two. <laughs> anyway, uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't figured out how to edit the new camera yet. Yeah, well I'm working on it. Anyway, so um, we wanted to put a little video together for you guys talking about one of our latest photography escapades. So, Jean and I, um, as you guys have seen in a couple of our other videos, are big fans of, are you giving me big eyes? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. So, uh, Jean and I are big photography people. Um, we're amateurs at it, but I would say pretty good. Like, I've won a few awards, you take went. pictures. <laughs> I went to college. <laughs> take good pictures. I mean, not like award-winning pictures or anything like that. Anyway, um, <laughs> so I've won some awards. Take three. <laughs> I'm gonna have, I don't, <laughs> anyway, so I took some time off from this hobby. I've actually been posting um, some of my older pictures on my Instagram feed. It's under the same name, Anthony Persani. Uh, check it out. I would say I'll link it in the thing up at the top, but YouTube doesn't let you do that. So uh, down in my description, if you follow me on social, I always have my Instagram feed down there. Pop on over, check it out. Um, so I've been posting some of my old pictures, but doing some new stuff, some really cool, fun stuff. And that's what I want to talk about today, which is... Uh, you may have seen this picture before. It's a white canvas with a couple silhouetted holding a uh, umbrella. And then you see all this multicolored paint that's dripping down onto the umbrella and obviously it's not getting on the people, right? Painting, how cool would it be as a picture? And so I asked my, my model wife, if she would be willing to uh, brave the cold Arizona weather, which I think was like, what, like 70 degrees that day. It was very cold when you have paint splattered all over you. Right. Uh, and I dressed her all in white. Took out um, some of my lighting here that we have. And uh, got a big thing of black, cheap black paint and put it in one of those garden sprayers and we rained black paint, right? Mm -hmm. And so it was really cool. Like it, it's, the idea was really cool. It didn't really work out the way that I wanted it to quite yet. So we ended up having to get a little bit creative with it and, and throwing some paint on her. Uh, but I'd like to get your thoughts on how that experience was for you. It was cold. It was different. Yeah. Uh, I mean, black paint coming, hurling, like, on you. Right. So, at first I didn't mind because it didn't get anywhere, but then it started going, like, everywhere. Yeah. And I didn't take my hmm. I still eye watch have, off. I still have black paint on oh, my... Oh, do you? Watch, yeah. So, I had black paint everywhere, and yeah. I still have it, like you can see. Oh yeah, it's on your toes. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Sorry. Every day I'm like, uh, uh, uh. nope. Not coming off? No, I have to go get a pedicure. Yeah. Um, so, I climbed up on a ladder, and I was shooting you from all different angles, yep. which was a lot of fun. Um, for me, I had a blast doing it. So. It was, and there's a twilight hour when you're supposed to shoot outside, and that's, for us right now, that's somewhere between 4 and 5 o'clock, just depending on when our sunset's actually going to happen. So it was starting to get a little bit dark, um, and it would, the temperature was coming down, and, and we're using a garden hose to spray this water, and so it, it, was getting, it was getting pretty cold for you, I think. Yeah. So you troopers through it. 
Um, but, like, how do you feel artistically? Like, what, uh, what do you think? No, I, it was definitely artistic. Yeah? I, yeah, I, I liked it. I mean, he went all out with, he, he put, like, backdrops in the back, so it was all white. Right. Like, all it was was white. I was dressed in white. Right. The umbrella was clear, so you could just see. Everything around it. Everything was white. And red lips. He had red lipstick. And red lipstick, yep. So, so, yeah, I thought it was very artistic and well thought out, for sure. How do you feel about taking pictures, like now, like you being the model? Oh, I don't know. It's one of those things where you take a hundred pictures and I'm only going to like a couple of them. Yeah, so I know that a lot of people, and I hope, I hope you're okay with this, but I know a lot of people tend to think of, models is somebody who has to be super, you know, Victoria's Secret, you know. What did you guys think of a fuller figured woman as front and center in these pictures? Um, well, no, I'm good. No, I mean, it's, it's, it's a thing. Like, you were Be beautiful. nice. Be nice. No. <laughs> of course. They were, be they're beautiful pictures. They're, they're so much fun. They're so cool. Um, so I'd like to know you guys' thoughts and what you'd like to see in the future. So, if you like what we're doing here, please subscribe to my channel, uh, which is Anthony Persani. You're currently watching it, so just go down to the red button and hit, hit subscribe. subscribe. But then also hit that little bell so you don't miss any uploads. Thank you. I you're appreciate welcome. that. You're welcome. That was a good call out. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, give myself a thumbs up because I'm awesome. Give this lady a thumbs up because she is equally as awesome, maybe even more so. Check out her channel, which is... Beauty and the Stamper, or YouTube.com backslash Stampin' Up Girl, but currently branded as Beauty and the Stamper. Mm -hmm. And uh, give us those comments down below. Let's have a discussion. I'm, I'm being, I'm trying to be much better about getting to those comments on time, so we can, we can talk in real time. Uh, so, thank you for stopping by. Bye. Thank you for watching. 